Daniel, do you want to take us into the next news story? Since you fell in love with Samus Returns, the rumor for another 2D mm-hmm. Metroid. Well, I don't have the article open in front of me, but yeah. the rumor is that we're expecting another 2D Metroid game. And I would love that, <laughs> because <laughs> I love me some 2D Metroid. Um, yeah, you know what's funny is there was a Game Informer interview a few... It was actually shortly before Breath of the Wild released, um, where mm-hmm. he took like the little like, coin, put them in the three cups, and shuffled them around. Mm-hmm. And then when Miyamoto and Onuma, they lifted the cup, there was just a piece of paper that said, 2D Metroid, please. <laughs> 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 That gave me a good laugh, but yeah. So, so that's that's the rumor. Um, if you care to elaborate on the the source and details of the rumor, Jesse, <laughs> right. that would be great. All right. Since <laughs> since Daniel doesn't have the page up, this comes from Nintendo Life, who gets it from NeoGaf. We're actually a NeoGaf member. I don't think NeoGaf is really around anymore. Are they? Didn't they? Uh, they yeah. You, they, they still exist. Um, they they had that. I don't, it's funny because they said NeoGaf member, but their source is Reset Era. It actually comes from the new place, the Reset Era place. Okay. So it says a NeoGaf member who was talking about Samus Returns as early as 2016 has come forward saying that another 2D Metroid has just entered the earliest stages of development. With the team from an external developer, understandably, this is to be met with some skepticism, as the source is a message board poster who has had some accurate predictions but it would certainly be an interesting development if true. There was a gap over a decade between the last 2D Metroids, but given the ending of Samus Returns and the excellent reception that the game received, perhaps Nintendo is planning to double down on Samus 2D Adventures. Now, this, I think, this is like saying, like, starting a rumor saying that, oh, there's going to be another 2D Metroid, is as obvious as someone saying there's going to be another 2D Zelda game. <laughs> like, I, I don't necessarily think it would be... Like, you could say it's a rumor, but it's one of those things that I feel is common sense. Like, any time <laughs> something like that comes up, it's like, if it doesn't come this year, it'll likely come next year or the year after. Like, we're eventually going to get another 2D Zelda game or, like, another 2D Mario game just because that's... Like, Nintendo has the whole team dedicated for 2D Mario games and 2D Zelda games, everything. And with this 2D Metroid, uh, whether it is Mm -hmm. a follow-up, something that ties into Samus Returns, or if it's a new story altogether, I think as well as Samus Returns sold and its own line of Amiibo sold well, I, I think this is just like an obvious statement that someone almost anyone could really make because like it would be one thing if someone mentioned a game that hasn't released in 20 years and they're like hey there's a new blah 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 coming out a new star tropics wow that yeah. would be <laughs> <laughs> yeah like that or like hey mother four is coming out like that that would be something that would be more of a rumor i think this is mm-hmm. more of something that would be common sense but w- what are your thoughts on this nate um Obviously, skepticism towards any source that comes from a forum is to be had, even if it's reset era, like the replacement for NeoGaf. But or, Nate, you know, his history his, of people. His uncle works um, at Nintendo. <laughs> well, I mean, his uncle's the, friends, the, doctors, I, veterinarians, I wish Ninten- cousins. <laughs> he, he's neighbors with Miyamoto. I wish Nintendo Life would have went into some more details. See, I, I'm part of part of reset era, so like I've read this a long time ago. Um, mm-hmm. Well, basically, this is a guy who, uh, for many, many, many months, kept saying Metroid 2 Remake is coming. It's happening. Like, it's official. I don't know why they haven't announced it yet. Blah, 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 blah. And then it happened. And this came at a time when he was trying to explain why ASMR 2 got shut down. Like, oh, another Metroid 2 Remake got shut down. Like, it's because they're working on it. Like, I, I don't know why they're not talking about it. Especially with all the bad PR from this, it's a good time to announce it. Be like, hey, look, this is why it got shut down. We actually have one in the works. Mm-hmm. Um, even though that's not really why it got shut down. If you know about anything with fan games and Nintendo, just stop making them. <laughs> Nintendo's always going to shut them down. Um, especially if you're using any of their branding. But yeah, it's... 
I don't know. We're in a weird situation right now. I think with 2D games and certain key franchises, um, Zelda and Metroid, I think being one of them, because like we talked about how there used to be like a separate 2D team for Mario, but then they did Mario Maker, which has made you not really need any more 2D Mario games, and then uh, they just combined the uh, handheld and and you know they built that new building and combined all the handheld and console people together, and now they have a hybrid system, and literally the, the entire Zelda team was making Breath of the Wild. Yes, we still got Triforce Heroes, but that was developed by Grezzo, headed up by a guy from Nintendo. So, like, we're at this point where there isn't really separate teams anymore for this kind of stuff. It's all one team making one game for one platform. Uh, And now there's a brand new team making Metroid. Uh, And we don't know what, you know, obviously Metroid 2 Remake was was done as well, but I don't know if there's actually, like, a dedicated team to making, like, a 2D Metroid. That doesn't mean there can't be one in the works. Like this guy, you know, if you go through the, some of the stuff he said, he's, he's talking about how this isn't actually like a new game being made per se. Uh, it's one they've had in the works before, and then they kind of like deadpanned it for a while. And now, like with Metro Prime coming and stuff, like and, and the success of the remake, we're kind of reviving it, being like, you know what, we have this thing kind of just sitting on the shelf. Let's finish it and get it out the door for whatever for 3DS or Switch, um, and that's fine. That might that, that's Nintendo's probably got tons of stuff they've shelved over the years that they could just pull out and, and work on. But I, I, I just don't think it's so. I mean, this rumor might be true, but I just don't know about 2D games in these franchises being guaranteed anymore when you with the primary platform moving forward isn't going to be 3DS. It's going to be Switch, and all the best-selling games on Switch are traditional 3d console games um like the best-selling metroid games of all time aren't they're not metroid 2 <laughs> they're the prime series so it's mm-hmm. kind of like it makes more sense financially to focus on where the sales are now obviously the counter is obviously 2d games are cheaper to make you don't need to sell as much but you know there's a reason that nintendo puts a lot of emphasis on a game like breath of the wild and not as much on triforce heroes and link between worlds uh, because they make way more money off a game like breath of the wild and Triforce mm. Heroes and Link to World. So it'll be interesting to see this. Maybe. Maybe it's a, maybe they have another. Maybe it'll be a 3DS game as another filler game for the end of this year or something. Yeah, I, th- I look at this and I don't know if they would come out with like a completely brand new Metroid game. I could see them this being more of like a port of Samus Returns for the Switch because I think that is something that would be very likely and I think they would do that. Because if the game's already finished on the 3DS, just port it over to the Switch, that would take a lot less time than creating another remake or another game. So, and then if that does really well on the 3DS and the Switch, then I think that would be enough for Nintendo to be like, okay, let's make another brand new 2D Metroid game using this same engine, but just release it for the Switch. Mm -hmm. And they also have Metroid Prime 4, uh... I think it would be interesting if they experimented with sort of like what they did with um, Mario Odyssey and a link. They took that a link between worlds mechanic to where you could switch between like the 2D when you turn into like a painting on the wall or whatever. There were almost entire levels in Mario Odyssey, or not entire levels, but there were parts of it that were the size of a traditional level from a 2D Mario game. So if they can have that back and forth and bring that concept into Mario Odyssey, I would like to see them do something similar with Metroid Prime 4. Like maybe you get somewhere the camera angle changes and suddenly it looks like you're playing a 2D level of Metroid instead of a 3D. So that's that's my hopes for Metroid Prime 4. I know it's a bit off topic, but I could see them doing this more so than like... I, I hope they don't do that. No, you're, you're not I'm a not, fan. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to shoot the idea down, but like it worked because it was like we've never seen a game do this. Mm-hmm. So now they start doing it, it's like now you're just like copying your own ideas over again. Like, are, is the next Zelda game gonna have us go 2D, go all, like between worlds on us again? Well, you you see like with with Mario Odyssey. Whenever I seen it um, after it had a few trailers come out, my first thought was it's like someone took a bunch of concepts from the legend of zelda and put them on a mario game you have the hat that talks it to you 
you can uh, sort of become enemies or whatever, like in Phantom Hourglass when Zelda turns into the... Is it Phantom Hourglass? Like Zelda's spirit goes and... Uh, spirit tracks. Spirit tracks. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then like there's the wall mechanic that was taken from a link between worlds so there was like several different things that i seen from zelda that it's like oh well they just must have been a really big fan of that mechanic and then thinking about how something similar could be added to metroid uh that, that's just where my thoughts are because it seems like sure. they mm-hmm. are apparently they're a fan of that gameplay mechanic so i wouldn't be surprised to see it pop up somewhere else yeah i i don't know I mean, I'm a, I'm not gonna put it past Nintendo. They borrow from from themselves all the time. They can you get that's you're allowed to do that. It's okay. <laughs> People who aren't you know co- other companies out there that make games borrow from games they're inspired by as well all the time. Um, I just feel like uh, it works so well in Odyssey because you were talking about a game that its goal was to bring back all the old school Mario fans from the N64. Um, so you had all this feel of Mario 64 and even Sunshine mixed with classic Mario. Mm-hmm. Um, and like even when you talk about, oh, they had, you know, the, the hat that could talk, like, I mean, okay. I mean, I guess I guess you could say it's a reference to Capcom's Eslo if you want. I don't, I guess I personally don't see that per se, but then again, they, they, the hats serve different purposes. So I guess, mm-hmm. you know, who knows how much of that's copy, but like, just like, seeing what they did with mario and being like yeah just do that with metroid um all those ideas they might have copied they did it in new and fresh ways i don't know what new and fresh ways you can make 2d metroid on the side of a wall uh not basically be the exact same idea as mario whereas like a link between worlds like when you went on the wall you were just traversing you weren't playing 2d zelda um it was used as a traversal mechanic Mm-hmm. Um, or occasionally, you know, like you could pop in a wall and an enemy could not hit you, but, um, I think and, also and part of, uh, the- what made it work in Mario Odyssey is because it was in very limited segments, you know, uh, well, in the link between worlds, it, like you said, it's traversal. So you can do any wall, you just pop onto it and then slide and on got, over. And we got to consider story as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, link yeah, I don't know worlds, how they could explain that could, in universe. It could have been limited. Yeah. Like, it could have been limited in The Link Between Worlds to what they did with it because they had to make a story reason that you could become part of the wall. Where in Mario, there's no explanation. You just do it. You mm, walk, cool. walk into a war pipe and it just feels right because it's Mario. <laughs> like, Metroid yeah. has actually got some heavy story at times. And it's kind of... It, for, for a game that's about isolation, there's a lot of story. Um, mm-hmm. So, like, having a story reason for you to pop into a wall and become 2D just feels not like Metroid. Mm-hmm. But then, I mean, there might be a better approach than what they tried to do with Other M, where they tried to combine, like, classic Metroid gameplay and, and 3D space gameplay uh, with a third-person perspective. But uh, I don't know. I, I liked Other M, so I'm not... <laughs> I realize a lot of people hate it, so I'm probably not the right person to talk to about this idea, maybe. All right. Well, final thoughts on this rumor before we move on. Do you think that it's possible or likely that a new 2D Metroid game is in development right now? Sure, Samus Returns did well. It was reviewed well, and personally, I just really um, <laughs> keep my fingers crossed. More <laughs> Metroid for me. I, yeah. I can see it as another filler game for 3DS. Mm-hmm. Really? Because you, said, you think it would be for 3DS, not yes. Switch? I don't think they're going to release it on Switch because I don't think another Metroid game's coming to Switch till Prime Four is out. All right. Mm. They're going to want to hit when they hit their major franchises on Switch. They're going to try to hit it with their best before they hit it with anything else. Then again, they did do Fire Emblem Warriors, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. True. Well, 